Well, your overall thoughts, uh, Nigel, on that game? Well, we haven't um, wanted to win the game. I thought we started well. Difficult conditions for both sides. The wind, I think everyone could see that. Nice fair pitch, so the ball was bouncing high and uh, challenging. But we've started OK, and then we've really created some really good opportunities. I thought Regan Henry was outstanding in the middle of the pitch first half. He had a great chance and just went past the post. But he's gone and scored that first goal for us. Robbie Apt is lively. And again, from my point of view, we had really good chances in the first half. Uh, and then just before half time, you know, one of our players has not trapped their player, which is his job, and stop the cross and then match the box. And unfortunately for John Bellew, I mean, he's just he's six for five, you know, and he's just skimmed over the top of his head, and their player's gone and scored the goal. So 1 1 at half time, which is probably against the runner player, I would suggest, because I think we've done really well in the conditions. Uh, having scored good opportunities, Reese McAleer, the one hit the crossbar. I mean, in the course of the game, we've hit the bar twice, Robbie after at the end, re um, and we've hit the post twice with, um, with Regan Henry. What an unbelievable save from the goalkeeper in the second half. But it's fair to say that we didn't get going as well in the second half as what we did in the first half. And sometimes goals change the complexion of games. The second one was, you know, it's a long free kick. We knew they were going to do the dummy, step, move back, go. At the end of the day, Connor Jennings has just jumped and it's just missed the top of his head. And then between um, the goal, the goalkeeper's got to come get the ball then. Um, and all of a sudden it's a soft goal and it's 2-1. But uh, Harvey Saunders made a good introduction when he came on, injected that bit of energy that we needed at the time and, and he chased it down again. Sometimes life's a game of inches and he's chased it down fantastically. He's got that spirit and desire that you, you dream of and uh, it's just gone past the post then. As I say, Robbie after one is at the post, uh, post crossbar. I'm quite sure which way that one was. So um, I say a great save from the goalkeeper from Regan Henry, but uh, a long range shot goes in to get in the third one. But for me, the game fizzled, fizzled out, uh, and we weren't. For me, I was disappointed with our second half performance compared to the first half, where I thought in difficult conditions at times we did okay. Yeah, I mean, just coming through the lounges upstairs, and I think that was what the fans were saying. You know, they were really disappointed with the second half display, yeah, yeah, particularly. Yeah, it was. I think the goals changed the complexion of the game. That second one was a big sucker punch, wasn't it? Having just conceded just before half time, which was, a, from my point of view, track your runner, stop the cross, match the box, deal with the cross. Um, and uh, the, the free kick, it's. Um, it's a poor goal to go all the way straight in. It's got to be, you know, we've got a, the goalkeeper, our goalkeeper, Luke McGee, has been exceptional for us this season. And again in the game, made a couple mm. of good saves. Um, as their goalkeeper did in the first half, you know, you look at the chances we had. So first half was good, second half not as good. And again, the, the, the score line we've conceded from our point of view, three goals that I'd like to think we could do a hell of a lot better with. I mean, they like to pass the ball around, and as you say, first half, you know, you you were matching them in turn of that. Was was that the disappointment you didn't match them as well in general play in that second half? I think the, I think the second half was kind of like it was the game. The, the game was stop start, wasn't it? You know, we're obviously gone from the first couple of minutes to the officials. Every time the ball goes out of play, they are taking it forever to get it back in play. Um, and again, as teams seem to do now, when when they've been under pressure a little bit. The goalkeeper will go down, and um, even the officials even know that as well. But there's nothing to do about it, so it kills the momentum of the game, um, which is frustrating. Um, but listen, we, we we will get better because we're not going to accept what we've done in the second half, and the players are well aware of that. But in the first half, there was some good stuff that was done. And again, when I look about uh, a Regan Hendry, I thought he, he he was a magnificent in the middle of the pitch, and a Robbie after so you get the ball, you're off, you're off your feet. You know, and he tracks runs back. You know, you see how hard he works to get back, and he's going to get accolades as young player of the year for the EFL two and richly deserved because he does both. He creates and he works for the team. So I'm really pleased with that. But uh, from my point of view, very disappointed with how we've let the game go away from us in the second half with the goals that we've conceded. Without naming players, you know, a few players need to look at themselves. Perhaps this evening, perhaps didn't do some of those things there that you're talking about. We all need to look at ourselves. I want us, we represent Tranmere Rovers Football Club and I want us to do well and I want us to do well in every single game and I want us to do well for the whole length of the game, not just half a game. Now as I said, let's, let, fair, 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 fair where fair is, the boys done really well in the first half up until the goal we conceded just before half time. Created some good chances, played some good football in difficult conditions for both sides. I think everyone can see that the way the, well, the wind was swirling and how firm the pitch was. Uh, but in the second half, I would suggests that the second goal has really, has really affected the mood and uh, we've got to make sure that we snap out of that play every restart as it was and again sometimes 
You know, as I said, Harvey Saunders coming on, injecting it, that just goes inside the post and the goalkeeper doesn't make that unbelievable save from Regan Hendry and Robbie after the ball, but he's headed it from a yard out, it goes in instead of coming out off the crossbar, we could have ended up with a 4-3. As it was, we haven't, so the mood is, uh, is going to be rightly uh, not the way we want it to go and be. There's a lot of things we've got to go and address and we've got another three games left of this season to give players opportunities to see if they're going to be here for next season or not. Yeah, that's what I'm asking about really. I mean, those, those last three games are important and you, know, you, you don't want a repeat of what you've seen in the second half of the game. But they're very much, very much important and again, you know, players are, there's players who are out of contract and it's, come on, you've got to show you're going to be here next year or not. And again, there's things we've got to work on. Again, we're tweaking one or two things from things that we're doing to see if we can use these games to practice on one or two things to get better for, for next season. It's if you like, it's the start of pre-season now. But every game still matters. And I want us to be entertaining as we were in the first half, but we can't keep conceding three goals. you know, And uh, that has to be addressed, and it will be.